and Vanity. Okay, talk about a cool cover. Like right off the bat, I, I judge a book by its cover. They say don't do that, but I totally do. I think it's important. Sex and Vanity has a really cool cover. I like the, I guess this is like foil on it. This is a Good Morning America book club pick, and I actually got this book for free. Good Morning America sent it to me because they posted something on their Instagram and they were like, win a copy of the book by Kevin Kwan. And I was like, hell yeah. So I think I just like commented and tagged a friend and they sent me the book. So I thought that was just exciting right off the bat. So if you liked Crazy Rich Asians, you will like this book. It was written by the same person who did Crazy Rich Asians. And I think it's the same kind of thing. It includes some Crazy Rich Asians in the book. He has a whole series. He has China Rich Girlfriend, Rich People Problems, all with, with an Asian cast or characters. Um, okay, so Sex and Vanity. What is it about? It's good. It's a good book. It's about some people. They head over to a fancy schmancy place for a wedding. And two people meet. And they, they do that thing where they start to like each other and they hook up, but then they want to separate. And again, kind of like what I mentioned in um, the book that I reviewed recently called A Palm Beach Wife, it's very much judgy on how much money you have and how much notoriety you have and who your families are. So for that reason, there's a little bit of like, should we be together, should we not be together? And then you, you kind of fast forward in time as well to see what happens between these two characters because their paths cross in the future. And it's a good book because you wanna see what happens. There is a situation, a little something that happens at the wedding after they meet and they start to like each other, something happens and it creates a problem. And then, you know, you fast forward a couple years later and these two people are in different places in their life, but they are brought together. So then you kind of want to keep reading to see what happens then. I will say it's a little long. It is, let me tell you how many pages this book is. It is, are there no page numbers here? Yes, there are. It is 315 pages. It could have been 200. I mean, I think, I think there's kind of like guidelines on how long a novel should be but I felt like some of it kind of dragged on like you could have gotten to the point a little quicker in some places but again some people like that stuff I am very impatient if you have noticed on this podcast and YouTube channel I don't do intro music I don't do the whole like build up to what I'm going to talk about I just go into it and I think that's just because I'm impatient and I like to get to the point so I think it is possible to do long books that don't feel long. James Patterson does this very well. I, I just felt like there wasn't a whole lot of action to warrant it being so long. But with that said, I did like it and it is a good book. And I give it four out of five stars. I thought it was good. And again, Crazy Rich Asians is super funny. The movies, I didn't read the book, I saw the movie. The movie's funny, it's cute. If you like that kind of humor, if you like romance, you will like Sex and Vanity. There's no mystery, there's no thriller here. It's um, realistic fiction. If you like reading, you know, about the rich fancy people and how they live and all of that, you'll like this one. Much like A Palm Beach Wife, I feel like these two books, if you like one, you'll probably like the other. Sex and Vanity is definitely a little bit more entertaining. There is more happening here. But yeah, it's a good book, great cover, great cover. And a Good Morning America book pick. So make sure you check it out. I give this one four out of five stars.